Well, it looks like it's that time. We're finally starting to see the price of the Tesla company start to go down. And this is a very unfortunate thing for people who are invested in this. But it's important to know a lot of things about this. So you can see, looking at the graph first before we actually comment on it, I'm going to just look over a longer period of time. So we can see in March, Tesla started to sell off down to the point of almost $200, I believe it was. And now, well, actually, the stock splits isn't a fair representation. So if you're seeing this and think, thinking it was much lower than $200, bear in mind there has been a stock split since then anyway so the stock has been going up ever since then and it went up to a point of around two thousand dollars two thousand five hundred even obviously this was before the split and now we are starting to see the first few days of a decline now these declines have been a lot steeper than they were in the march months actually especially with tesla we can see quite a clear sell-off over the last few days and i'm going to explain why these are happening and what you can do about it so please do like and subscribe if that sounds good so first things first looking at the graph like i said we can see over the past few days specifically this week we've had a massive uh, sell-off of tesla and this has been going on for a few of the technology stocks now today has actually not been too bad for it only down 0.8 percent however it has been worse over some of the few days of the previous week and the reason for this is simply because one, the stock has split and there's been a lot of anticipation for this. So as we know, Tesla stock splitting was a big thing that a lot of people have been looking into. And now that the stock has actually split, well, a lot of investors are just happy with that and they're deciding to take their profits at this point. And that has forced the price down a little bit. So obviously when investors take profit, then the price of the stock goes down. And another thing to note is this also gets a lot of scared investors who are perhaps not as educated as they should be into their trading. Basically, they get a little bit scared as well and they sell out at this point. And this actually is counterintuitive because what it does is it just forces the prices down even lower. But that is one of the reasons for this happening. So Tesla is down a lot. Another reason for Tesla being down is because, as we know, Tesla is a very, very hyped stock. Now, I'm not going to talk about whether it is a bubble or not, but like I said in my stock market bubble video, when we look at a bubble, we've got to think about some of the stages. Now, if Tesla is in a bubble, in my opinion, this is one of the later stages of the bubble. I'm not saying it is a bubble or it's not, but if it is a bubble, this appears to be one of the later stages because, like I said, this will be the point where sellers were taking profits, if you will, and then after that comes the panic stage, as I talked about. If you want to see that, please do check out that video. Very good video. Anyway, um, so this will be the stage just before the panic stage, which is the final stage. So what will be happening now is people are taking their profits because, as we know, Tesla up 850% plus this year, and that is very influential because it means that a lot of people jumped in just to make that big profit. A lot of Robin Hood investors who didn't know as much about about the stock as they should jumped in with this one as well and this has been one of the most hyped up stocks ever actually also one of the most shorter stocks ever and this has just led to people being in the trade for way too long and not knowing what they're doing so this has forced prices down a little bit and basically think about the alternate side so if you are in the five day and you've bought in with a cfd or a call or something obviously this is going to be painful for you because you are seeing a loss and a huge loss at that but it's important to remember a small correction like this is actually important for this to keep going up over a long period of time because if we keep seeing this go down it's a case of where is the bubble going to burst so especially if we go for an analytical approach so analyticals will say each one of these drops or flat pieces is actually considered a floor if you will and that's basically a price point for it to drop to in the future so obviously it goes higher and then if it comes down it might go to this floor rest there for a bit and then go up now, if we're looking at a more fundamental analysis, we could just say this is due to the stock split and the anticipation and hype around it. However, it's important to know what can we do about this. So if we actually anticipate the price of Tesla going down in the future, there are things that we can do to make money off this as well. Because a lot of people might forget on apps like Trading212, which is what I'm with, and I've got a full video and series on that. Um, you can actually go with a CFD and bet against this. Now, this is specifically in the United Kingdom, but I'm sure a lot of different countries have things like this. And what you can do is you can go against the stock, anticipating the price going lower. And if the price goes any lower, you'll make money off that. So you can understand how that one works, and that can basically make you money off the falling prices. But if you are in for the long haul, maybe not even sell now. Just wait a bit and see what the stock does. Because bear in mind, this could be a point where people take profits and then the stock continues to go up in the future days. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.